गुड मॉर्निंग आई एम रुशाली धनोकार असिस वर्किंग एज असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर ऐट इन्फॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी डिपार्टमेंट ऐट ए एस एम एस आई ओ आई टी पुने सो टुडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट मशीन लर्निंग वॉट एक्जैक्टली मशीन लर्निंग इज सो लेट सी सो बिफोर स्टार्ट द मशीन लर्निंग द फर्स्ट एंड इम्पॉर्टंट टॉपिक इज वॉट इज लर्निंग सो कंप्यूटर प्रोग्राम इज से टू लर्न बाय यूजिंग थ्री कंपोनेंट्स एक्सपीरियंस टास्क एंड परफॉर्मेंस सो दिज आर द मेन कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ लर्निंग दैट इज ई टी एंड पी सो आई विल एक्सप्लेन दिस कंसेप्ट विथ एग्जाम्पल सी हियर द एग्जाम्पल इज स्पैम ई मेल डिटेक्शन सो वॉट इज अवर टास्क एंड वॉट इज अ टास्क अब ऑफ मशीन लर्निंग The task of machine learning is to classify the email, whether the particular email is a spam email or not spam, right? So this is a task. Next is experience. Experience means, as per the classification, they give the label to the particular emails, the whether the particular email is spam email or not spam email. So as per the experience, they gives the particular labels. And last is performance. Performance means percentage of correctly identified emails. Means how machine learning correctly identified the particular email is spam or not spam. So experience, task, and performance. These are the three main factors of learning. Now the next one is what exactly is machine learning? So we know that machine learning is subset of artificial intelligence, and the term of machine learning was first introduced by Arthur Sam Samuel in 1959. so basically machine learning is uh, to study the particular computer programs and to ability to learn without being explicitly program so uh, machine learning means they learn from the historical data they learn from the particular facts or particular information and as per that information they take a particular decision so this is the concept of machine learning and it mainly concern with the development of algorithms and allow the computer to learn from data and past experience on their own because human can also learn from their past experience right so similarly machine also can learn from their past experience or past data see here in this diagram there is a human and there is a machine so human i can learn everything automatically from the experience right so similarly machine machine also can learn from past data with the help of machine learning now the next is the difference between traditional programming and machine learning so we all are familiar with the concept of traditional programming traditional programming means simply simple uh, there are some examples like arithmetic expression means uh, you should pass the data that is 2 plus 2 to the machine and machine generate the result that is 4 right so this is called as traditional programming uh the best example is billing system okay means all the c c++ java these are the examples of traditional programming but in machine learning in machine learning you have to pass the data and as per that uh as per that information they generate the result whether the particular information is arithmetic subtraction or uh, any other related information so this is machine learning you should pass input plus desired result and they generate the program means you should pass the input that is 2 plus 2 and the result 4 and they generate the program okay and similarly when you pass the again different multiple additions through this machine learning so this is a concept of traditional programming and machine learning in traditional programming data and program as a input and they generate the output in machine learning data and output as a input and they generate the program so this is just the structure of traditional programming versus machine learning in traditional programming there is a human programmer right as a developer as a software developer so human programmer done a hard coded instruction they write the program in c c++ java or any other language they write the instructions one by one instructions right so we pass those data as a input to the machine so machine generate the execute the instructions as per the input and they generate the output but in machine learning in machine learning we have passed the sample data or some sample information so machine learn those data learn the problem means for example when we pass the image of cat to the machine so machine find out the pattern of that particular image whether it has two ears four legs in this way so they find out the pattern of those image and after finding the pattern they check the input pattern to their data set and generate the result right so this is a cat image so in this way machine learning uh, machine learning 
is generally works on the sample data or sample information now uh, this is just a difference between artificial intelligence machine learning and deep learning artificial intelligence generally originated in 1950 machine learning in 1960 and deep learning is around 1970 so basically deep learning is subset of machine learning and machine learning is subset of artificial intelligence so basically artificial intelligence means they build a machine which is capable of thinking like human okay and machine learning learn from data learn from previous problem and to solve the problem so by using solve the problem they generate the machine like artificial intelligence and deep learning deep learning is a neural network they automatically discover the pattern and feature detection so this is a interrelated thing deep learning machine learning and artificial intelligence or all, all are interrelated with each other now uh, these are the some applications of machine learning generally machine learning generally used nowadays in each and every field like automatic language translation medical diagnosis stock market trading online fraud detection then virtual personal assistant email spam and malware filtering self driving cars product recommendation traffic prediction speech recognition image recognition so in this all field machine learning are used so these are again different applications like in retail business in retail business means machine learning generally used to study the consumer behavior means suppose a particular person buy a milk then they also buy a bread so this is called as consumer behavior in financial banks also machine learning model used in credit application fraud detection and the stock market in for medical diagnosis purpose in telecommunication then uh, physical and astronomy and biology in this field also machine learnings are used then in artificial intelligence speech recognition robotics then computer controlled vehicle then uh, different online games there are different online games are available for taking a particular decision so in this way machine learning are used in each and every field so thank you this is all about the concept of machine learning thank you